Hello, today we are playing Katamari Reroll Blind. Uh, I am super excited to be playing this. Um, I did actually uh, start, I played the first like intro demo level or whatever. I was trying to figure out how to get the uh, the controller uh, controls to, to work. Uh, so I had to play like a starter level where it wants you to like do all the input commands or whatever with the keyboard. And then it threw me right into, um, it threw me right into like a practice tutorial level or whatever. And I had to do that with the keyboard too. Uh, I was just trying to get to the options menu uh, so I could turn on uh, the controller since the controller uh, wasn't working. Uh, turns out I had to, you know, like, you have to right click on the game on Steam or whatever in the Steam menu. And then there's, a, there's an option under the general tab or whatever and you hit force on something or other. And it turns the control, it lets the controller work. But uh, yeah, uh, so yeah, uh, first time I had to do that, I was a little uh, worried that maybe the game didn't control support, didn't support a controller. But then when I made it to the options, uh, it said controller type, but then it just wasn't uh, like allowing a controller to work. So I was like, what the heck? Okay, so I had a few small issues. So I had that small issue. Um, by the way, um, so I did actually see like the title screen and the first level or whatever. I think there's like an intro level that you can't, oh wait, I think you can actually uh, replay it. Cause I did go to uh, this planet. It says this, uh, this one's already done. Yeah, you just go to 10 centimeters. So that's, that's, uh, that's still pretty small. But uh, what I was gonna say a minute ago, because this is called reroll, is this actually um, like a remaster of the first one? Yeah, I'm not gonna read uh, what, uh, what the, oh my gosh, what's that dude's name? I. I don't remember his name. This is the this is the fourth Katamari game I played, and I can't think of dude's name right now. Also, why is his uh, head off center? Look, it's not uh, directly above his belt. Yeah, he refers to himself as we for some reason. Yeah, I don't know why. Oh, he is actually saying the story. I don't remember what the story was from the first one. Right? Uh, it was something like. Oh geez, I don't remember. Uh, the king did something bad and we're like fixing his mistake, I think. And then the second game, we love Katamari. Everyone's like, oh, you're you're so great. And then you play people's levels for that reason. Like there's no, there's there's really no like, uh, like story. Like you solved the problem in the first game. So now for the second game, like everything's fine. Like there's no, uh, there's no problem uh, to solve. Uh, you know what, I did, I gotta admit, after playing the first level with... Okay, hold on. This is my first time using the controller uh, in a level. I only use the controller on the outside menu. It seems like the control is a little bit different with the controller from the other games. Is that... Uh... I feel like if that I feel like if that were my imagination, I would know. I don't know. It seems like... Maybe it's more sensitive? I feel like it's more like sensitive. But um, yeah, at first trying it with the keyboard after playing three other games with the controller felt super like, like super weird and unnatural. But then once I played that first uh, tutorial starter level or whatever, uh, it did, it did kind of start to feel natural. But then, uh, you know, but then I was like, am I really gonna play the entire game? with uh with the keyboard because it's what's weird is that you use you use w a s d and i j k l or whatever so you're playing like with like both hands so but i mean like like i said after a few minutes it started to feel a little bit better but then i was like i was like man this is i was like there has to be a way to get the controller to work okay so we need 10 centimeters to go through there I'm assuming everybody watching this uh, has, like, knows the premise of the game. Um, but in case uh, you were raised by wolves or something, uh, basically, you're uh, you're the son of the uh, king who's, like, the ruler of the universe. And I'm, like, I'm, I'm guessing that uh, the prince has, like, the same power as the king, doesn't he? He's, like, indestructible and stuff. But uh, I'm, rolling up, I'm rolling up this, like, sticky ball, and I can roll up uh, things that are of certain sizes, and then the bigger the ball gets, it lets you roll up bigger things. And then the ball gets bigger, and then you're able to roll up bigger things. 
But uh, yeah, uh, the other games I played, uh, I played We Love Katamari first, and then I played Beautiful Katamari on 360. Uh, I got almost, I got all the achievements on that one except the one where you need to win 10 online matches. I think I got like eight or 10 because I played so late that by the time I, by the time I got the game, it was actually trying to get that achievement. There was like nobody playing. There was a couple of times where like I did a match with like a guy who was also I think grinding for the achievement. And I was able to beat him a couple of times, but then he uh, was also, like, he... I'm pretty sure what happened is that he got enough for the achievement, so then he, uh, first, and then he quit. <laughs> Instead of letting me, uh, I mean, I don't, I'm not saying he should have let me win so I could get it too, but... He got the achievement, and he's like, screw you, I'm freaking out of here. And then I never found another person. I didn't try that hard. Like, I w like if I would have checked every day, I probably could have found somebody else. But uh, the achievement for, like, getting all, like, one of everything or whatever. Like, I got. I got all of them except the multiplayer one. Okay, so I'm wondering about the music of this game. Uh, I'm, I'm wondering if there's going to be a song that I really, really like. Alright, so I'm getting to be a little bit bigger. Maybe by the end I'll be able to uh, roll up the birds's. Can you pick up the dandelions, or are they just decoration? There are some items that, uh, for whatever reason, you just can't pick up. Um, it's just saying there's not another area I can go to, is there? Oh, oh. For a second, like, I was hitting the button and it wasn't letting me skip. But I didn't want to hit the skip, skip button or whatever in case it was going to show me a new area I can go to. But it just takes a long time for the uh, for the text to change or whatever. Oh, you can't pick up the dandelions. I don't know. This song is okay so far. I don't know. I guess I'm not listening to it super duper close. I don't know. I tend to prefer the ones with like the female voices, or also the ones where it's um like the different renditions of like the original music that have the dude singing it. Oh my gosh. Okay, dude. Dude does this in every freaking game. Where he just like goes on it. He just like talks on and on and on and just like blocks the screen. Yeah, that, I'm pretty sure at this point they're like doing it on purpose. Like they've done that in like every game. And you're just like, dude, get the freaking text out of the way, yo. Okay, I, I think he was actually saying something. I probably rolled up a present. Uh, they're, I'm pretty sure they're optional. You use, you uh, get achievements for them normally. Or maybe I rolled up a cousin. Which is basically just another character that you can use. You're going to get uh, to a certain size. You'll notice that uh, the prince or whatever, you can always see him in the bottom right corner. But in terms of like the Katamari, he's, he's becoming like smaller and smaller. There's going to become a point where... You can't even see, he's not even on the screen. And we're, it's gonna look like we're, we're controlling the ball. Like that's our character, you know? All right, let's grab these guys. Oh, I wonder if I can grab the uh, star decorations on the tree. Maybe not, in, uh, maybe not in this level. Wait, how come I didn't pick up? There we go. Oh, I still got two minutes left. I guess we're on like the first level, so this level is gonna be pretty easy. How big did it want me to get? 20 centimeters? So we're already uh, quite a bit over that goal with quite a bit of time left. I do sort of like how uh, stuff seems to come off your Katamari fairly easily. Uh, that actually like makes, uh, you know, makes the Katamari smaller so there it, it is actually possible to regress oh my gosh which uh does add you know some i don't want to say challenge but it makes it so uh you do actually have to uh have to be careful well i can roll up uh here all right anything cool up here all right sponge with uh with an abrasive side I have a feeling that joke was possibly lost uh, on the SpongeBob episode where SpongeBob gets an abrasive side. 
Uh, I'm pretty sure that the, the term abrasive isn't used nowadays very often to describe someone's personality, right? Like, I don't hear it in day-to-day -day talk. All right, can we get the sandals? All right. Oh, but I lost something else. The, um, the text font is, uh, slightly different, too. I don't know, just something minor I noticed. 35 centimeters! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, look how, look how tiny it is. It looks like a freaking gumball in dude's hand. Alright, do it. Didn't the king, like, destroy the whole universe or something? So we're rolling up things to turn into, like, planets and stars and stuff. Okay, dude got rid of the... Dude somehow... Oh, what did he do? It, it's, he did something, like, absurd. He, he, like, got drunk and accidentally destroyed all the stars in the universe or something. It was something weird like that. But I guess uh, planet Earth, I guess, is untouched. Oh, I guess it says Earth right here. Oh man, wait, we have two choices? Uh, we can, we can make a star three or we can make feminism. Um, you know what, I'm pretty sure that the first game had that. Where you would make the different constellations and then it would be like a theme. It would be get, uh, collect all of, it'd be like collect crabs for the, uh, for the crab constellation or whatever. Oh, I didn't even know that, that, um, that that was the crab one. That was just the first one I could think of that would have an object associated with it. I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter how many you get. It's just get as many as you can. Is it possible to lose, I wonder? Actually, you know what? In the upper left corner, maybe I have to... I think I... I don't know. Maybe I have to get the Katamari... To, uh, to the size of that blue line. That blue, uh, circle or whatever. And then also get as many crabs as I can. I'm s okay, I was about to say I'm stuck. But, uh, they purposefully put the... Put a whole bunch of whatever you need in the level. Uh, excuse me. Who first? Oh, yeah. I miss it. I miss, um... Uh, when Vicky uh, Guerrero did that thing where she would go, Excuse me! Excuse me! Like, that that one got me, like, every time. I thought that was funny. I don't know, man. The problem with, um... With those kind of, like, wrestling gimmicks or whatever is that at some point they do have to end. And then they get replaced with some other thing that's possibly not as funny. Like, at one point they had the... I don't know if y'all remember this. Several years ago they had that, um... That anonymous general manager that only communicated through, like, a computer... And then uh, Michael Cole would go up and he'd read w read whatever the general manager said or whatever. And he would always go up to the thing and he went, and I quote, or it's what like he he would go, we have a message from the anonymous general manager. And then you walk up to it and you go, and I quote, and then he'd read it. And it's like, okay, do you have to like, everything? Like I don't know. I just thought that was stupid. And then they have those sweeping shots where they show shots of the audience holding up signs and everyone's got the well you know not everyone but they're they, they have there's people with the signs that say and i quote on it it's like okay cool great sign great sign bro way to show your support for your favorite wrestler i did find out um later on that that uh like the like wwe makes the signs and just hands them to people so that's that's a way that um that the wwe like promotes things that they want to promote, you know? They make it seem like the audience is on board with whatever the signs are saying, you know? Okay, so if I, t if I uh, absorb the crab or whatever, will the door stop going open and closed, I wonder? Okay, so we're still in this kind of smaller-ish area. Wait, you can't, uh, usually you just, like, mash the button to skip the text. The text, uh, mash skip technique doesn't seem to work. Uh, in this game. Okay, I'm guessing once I, if I can get big enough to grab the, these pots, I wonder if that stack of pots counts as, I think it counts as one item, I believe. 
Because I can grab the single ones, and if it counted as a bunch of single ones, then I would have grabbed them all one at a time or whatever. I can't grab the shirt yet. All right, come on, get up there, man. 58 centimeters, you can't climb up a stair? Oh, but yeah, I haven't watched wrestling in a long time. I don't know, at this point, I feel like I couldn't go back. And I don't know, man. I believed it was real for like a long time. Like, I, like, there was that one part of my brain that, like, kind of knew it wasn't, but I didn't, like, fully have the illusion, like, ruined for probably longer than I, uh, than I should have. I don't know. Once the illusion was, like, completely ruined, where I, like, I knew that, like, who the, like, they, they know who the, who the winner of a match is gonna be before they even, like, start the match. It's like, once, once it gets to that kind of level, it's like, well, how can I even enjoy it when the winner's determined before the match even starts, you know? Like, I mean, I understand that, like, the drop kicks are fake or whatever, and the sweet chin music is dude just slaps his thigh when it makes that slap sound or whatever. Like, I like I can live with that. Like, I, I can suspend my disbelief to a, to a point. But when it comes to where, like, the entire match is predetermined, like, who's going to win? Actually, ironically, um, one of the things that's not predetermined is how the match is actually going to go. So they'll just have the people do the match, and then they just, they, you know, when they, like, um, they've had, um, they've had, like, scripts of the show leak or whatever. Well, they'll, they'll, um, they'll have what everyone's gonna say and everything that's gonna happen. You know, they'll be like, so-and-so is gonna do this promo, and then someone's gonna come out and hit them with a chair or whatever. Like, everything is, like, scripted down to a T. But then when it comes to the match, it just says, match. So the, um, so the... The wrestlers or whatever, actually the, the WWE calls them talent. That the talent does the um, does the match basically on their own accord. Like they just kind of like flow through it like naturally or whatever. And that's one of the reason why um, the people that tend to do better matches are the ones that uh, tend to rise through the um, through the ranks and become superstars. And whoever kisses Vince McMahon's uh, ass the most. Okay, there's... What am I supposed to do? Are there still crabs? What am, Like... I feel like I got, like... I either need a new place to go... Oh, look at that. There's a crab up there. Can I climb up? Yeah, I was about to say. I might be able to climb up and grab him. Did I get him? He's not there. I either knocked him off or he's gone. Can I go underneath this and have it propel me upwards? We've still got two minutes left. So, like, there has to be, like... Oh, look at that. What a troll. Maybe it alternates. Like, there has to be another place we can go or something. I right, got the big boy crab. Yeah, I feel like uh, I had too much... Too much, like, tons of extra time. Actually, you know what? There's crabs up Shmia. Oh my gosh. I might have to supercharge roll. Oh, no, no, I don't. I don't know. It seemed like once I started rolling down, I couldn't... Uh, Stop my rolling down momentum. But uh, I think maybe you actually can. Uh, you can sometimes a little bit, I think. All right, I think I got all the crabs I'm gonna get. Can I go now, mommy? Ugh, I'm stuck. Did y'all see that one video where it showed the I don't know, the guy was in his, like, 40s or whatever, and they were, they were doing, like, a Q&A with, like, wrestlers or something like that, and I forget when this was. It was maybe in, like, the early 90s or something, and there's a guy, and he was, like, I forget, oh, man, I forget exactly what he, what he, uh, said, but he's, like, um, he's basically, like, he's, like, yeah, I know that wrestling is fake. And, he, and then he's like, I'm just so, like, I just want to thank you guys so much for putting your bodies on the line and for all the abuse that you put your bodies through to entertain us. And, and I know that on the, on the one hand it's fake, but it's real to me, damn it. And he's like crying, like, while he's saying it. I'm just like, oh my god. I'm like, oh my god. Have some dignity. Oh, speaking of have some dignity, uh, I was at Walmart uh, earlier today. And boy, you know what? 
I should just go to Walmart before I record because it always gives me something to talk about. Um, there's been multiple times where I would see something at Walmart and I'm like, oh my god, I gotta, I gotta say that. That's freaking. This I'm pretty sure this cutscene is from the first one. I'm pretty sure I remember these with the little girl, and then she says so yummy, and then like fades and it's weird. I'm pretty sure that was weird enough to where I actually remember that. <laughs> But I'm just like, oh my god, I gotta like, I can't believe that that happened. I have to talk about that when I record, and then I always forget. Uh, okay, so we have just make a star three. We'll do one more for this first episode. But uh, I was at Walmart. A boa? What do you say, boa tarde? Yeah, most of what he says is like not useful. It like it doesn't make sense at all. So that's why I'm not reading it. It's just gibberish. It's like sentences, but... So it's not technically gibberish, but... Ooh, rolling around the town. Ooh, we're starting at... We're starting at 10 centimeters. We gotta get to 50. That's still not... Not, uh... Not very big. Alright. But, um... I was at Walmart, and... And, uh, and I saw these two black guys, and they were like... They looked like one of them was, like, giving money to the other person. Or maybe it was, like, he owed him money, and he ran into him, and he's paying him back, or whatever. I, don't, I couldn't... I was too far away. I couldn't exactly see what was happening, but there was, like, cash being exchanged between the two of them. And then the one guy uh, walks away, and the other guy turns around. And then there's this, like, big, fat white guy. And he points to the ground. He, he goes... He goes, hey, you dropped a dollar, man. And then the one guy... And then the one guy that was walking away... Turns around, he goes, he goes, yo, good man. He's like, thank you. I, he was like, thank you, man. I needed, I needed that dollar too, man. I mean, I really needed that dollar, so thank you, man. And on the one hand, you're like, yeah, it's nice. But on the other hand, it's easy to be honest when it's just a single dollar. If it would have been like a hundred dollar bill, would he have done it? I mean, I can't say. But I'm saying that statistically speaking, <laughs> more people will, uh, will just will just uh, reach down and take it for themselves if it was a bigger uh, denomination of bill. When it's one dollar, it's easy to be honest and then be like, oh yeah, look at me, I'm such an honest, uh, respectable respectable human being or whatever. So nice. I'm like, well, it was only a dollar on the line, you know. But, um, I don't know, I kind of thought that it was like, the, the you know, so the, the one part of my brain is like, oh, that was actually nice that he was, you know, that he didn't just take it. He pointed it out to the guy or whatever. But on the other hand, I, you know, I was sitting here going, okay, if I was if I was losing at life so hard that a dollar was enough for me to be like, oh my god, thank god I got my dollar back. My dollar that I so desperately needed because I'm so close, I'm cutting it so close in life that one dollar could like make or break my living situation or, you know, like my life is like heavily affected by whether or not I have this dollar that I'm so grateful that I didn't actually lose it. You know, if I, if I were on the edge of a financial cliff to that extent where one dollar made a difference where I was like so relieved to uh to get it back uh I would not tell anyone you know I would <laughs> you know so he made like a he made like a big spectacle about it about one he was thankful and two he was like oh that dollar like meant so much to him and I'm just like geez so that's kind of you know if that would have been me I would have been like oh thanks and not said anything, no matter how desperate I was. Like, like, I don't know. I just wouldn't want people to know if I was like so, like, on the verge of being like destitute, you know, living in a cardboard box. Oh jeez. Uh oh. This song has growing on me potential. It probably shouldn't. But if it's like quirky and catchy, like those are the ones that uh, that I tend to like the most. My gosh, I was holding up the entire time. I bounced down all those stairs. I guess they're not stairs, but whatever. You know what? I you know, because that cutscene is the same. This is um, like a clone or whatever of the first one, or a remaster or something like that. Yeah, I uh, I did think about that. Uh, because of, of how the um, how it's set up with the where you go to the earth or whatever, then you walk around, and then you go to make a star one or whatever. 
I was thinking that maybe it was uh, it was a remaster of the first one, but after seeing that cutscene, now I'm like 100% sure. Yeah, this game, uh, like I'm not like an expert on the history of this game or whatever, but basically part of the reason why this game became popular is that uh, it was sold, it was originally sold as like a $20 like budget title. And gosh, why couldn't I go forward there? I don't know. But um, basically with like when you market something, there's like two ways to market it. You can either have it be so expensive that it's like a status symbol, or you can have it that it's so cheap that uh, that anybody can afford it. So it's kind of like uh, the quality versus quantity or whatever. You know, if you sell a game at $20, you're not making as much profit per sale, but it's so cheap that more people, uh, more people will buy it because it's cheaper, you know, so then you might make, even though you might make more money cumulatively just a little bit at a time versus like on a $60 triple-A big budget game or whatever, you know, you might not make as much, um, you might not have as many people that are willing to shell out $60, but you make more money per sale, you know. So this, uh, this is an example of where they started off as like a budget title. Where it was like a twenty dollar game, and uh, and yeah, and this and the franchise is actually really popular. This is the mo I'm trying to think. Um, how many games of this are there? Were there like two on the Vita? There was at least one on the Vita that I was sad that I wouldn't get to play. There's two on PS2. I don't know any any of them that are on the handhelds. I didn't play since I don't I don't uh, own a Vita. But uh, yeah, I don't know. There's just some about these. You know what? Can I even say that this is my fourth game? This is my fourth game. But if it's the same as the first one, then I can't really say that it's like a different game. I still would have to technically say I played three, three of these, right? Oh man, let's grab these. These are good for bulking up. Oh, here's some more. Sweet. But um, yeah, I played the I played the first one last. Uh, actually, I played um, uh, Wheel of Katamari was the first one I played, and then Beautiful Katamari, and then and then I finally picked up the uh, the first one. Oh jeez. I think um, I think I have the most nostalgia for uh, for Wheel of Katamari. Like I said, I did play Beautiful Katamari a lot too. Uh, you know, enough to get uh, the achievements or whatever. I did have to look up the locations of a couple of items. I just couldn't figure out where they are. They do the thing where uh, certain items or certain objects or whatever, there's like one of, there's one of them in one level. So you have to go everywhere in every level to see it. And um, when you get to a certain size, certain items appear and certain other items disappear. Because at this point, it, like having like a, like, because I'm so big now, it would be pointless for there to be like a thumbtack or something, you know? Like the smallest thing I can pick up are like those cherries here. So once I grow bigger, eventually the cherries will be gone. So there, it's possible that you can actually like miss items. So I'm looking for an item where I don't even know how big I need to be to be able to see it, you know? Is that an air conditioner? Is that a giant air conditioner or is that a regular size? Oh wait, I think it's a regular size air conditioner. Never mind. <laughs> Wait, I was trying to like, go. I was trying to grab these things along the wall, but I'm... Oh, I thought things were falling off the Katamari. Yeah, I can't grab those. Too big. What did that say? Red Morning Glory? Oh, did you know you can get high off uh, Morning Glory seeds? Uh, I don't recommend it. Because uh, the, the stomach ache that you will have to deal with uh, makes it almost not worth it. Plus, you got to make sure that you have, like, the next two days off. Uh, because your brain is not going to be to where you can, like, function in society. For probably two days afterwards. I guess it depends... I guess it's like dose dependent, you know, like anything else, but man, I, I'm, I even got like a, 
a good amount of sleep or whatever afterwards and the next day like i was able to drive okay and stuff but then like my mental thought process was still like messed up a little bit like someone would ask me a question and i would have a hard time like deciding what to say to them you know even though i could talk fine and stuff i don't know I'll go into it like a full trip report later, but it's one of those. There, there are, there are several drugs out there that do, that do like get you, you know, high or inebriated or intoxicated in some way. But then the negative, either the negative mental side effects or the physical or the negative physical side effects can make it to where you actually have to weigh out the pros and cons to decide if you want to do it or if you want to do it more than once. And uh, Morning Glory Seeds are one of the ones where, yes, I did, I did have some positive effects. It creates, um, it contains a substance called LSA, which is two of the three letters of LSD or whatever. So it like it's chemically similar. So there is some like overlap in, um, in effects. But then, but then um, the uh, because you have to eat the seeds or whatever, the seeds come coated in like pesticide or whatever to ensure that they'll grow. And I tried what and I washed it off. I did what you were supposed to do to wash it off, but but still like I had like a horrible terrible stomach ache. Why does it say L trigger? So that's one of the things where it's like, yeah, I guess I'm glad I did it, but I you know, I don't I don't I would not recommend it to anyone. The um the negative side effects I would say outweigh the positive side effects. To be continued. Oh, I thought it meant the game. I was like, of course the game is to be continued. It's not like we're done. But I think it means the, the story. I forget what the actual story... Like, I'm pretty sure that throughout the course of the cutscenes... Does it actually tell a story? You know what? I actually don't remember. Okay, so anyway, uh, in the next one, we'll make a star of four... Uh, I'm guessing the entire planet's going to be full of these uh, things by the time we're done, right? So anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. Yeah, like I said, I'm super looking forward to this uh, Let's Play. I hope y'all are too. Uh, if you are, feel free to hit that like button. I appreciate it. Uh, also, don't forget to uh, subscribe and write comments. And I will see you folks next time. Take care. Bye.